am I going to even remember how to do this? I am aware that I am 50 shades of brown and that is just on my face, let alone the top. Today we're going to be talking about the book book that I read in August. Yes, I read one book. I was debating even doing this like roundup because it's not really roundup if it's literally just one book. That's just one book review. But basically I have done it every month since January and I thought it's going to be really odd if I do January, February, March, April, May, June, July, skip August and go straight to September. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. It's literally October now. So yes, I'm very aware. I'm very behind. I should have done this like a month ago and literally no one's going to care about what I read last month. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway for my benefit, for your benefit, whatever. So I read uh, I read one book in August. The reason why I only read one book is because I was on jury service like the whole of August. I was doing it for like three to four weeks and it just meant I was a bit busy, a bit like preoccupied. But I read, uh, I read one book read one book and that one book was just haven't met you by by just, oh my god why can't i speak it's obviously been so long since i've done this because i literally cannot speak in front of a camera anymore just haven't met you yet by sophie cousins um i was kindly gifted this by arrow publishing arrow press it's quite like a hefty book and um, it's like a romancy kind of funny cute summer read which was like obviously fitting so i was reading it in august and yeah it was just like really uplifting really emotional basically it's about someone that goes on like a work trip and she's been sent like on holiday for like a however long to write about her parents love life for this like magazine that she works for or like online blog whatever it is and while she's there at the airport she picks up the wrong suitcase and she opens up the suitcase finds out that like it contains all the things of like the man of her dreams so she tries to track down the person who obviously has her suitcase in return and thinks it's going to be like the love of her life and it's about like her trying to find that guy and she makes friends with the taxi driver outside the airport and stuff as well so it's about like their friendship but yeah it's just like it's really kind of like heartwarming it's quite uplifting it's quite emotional like i'm pretty sure it made me sad at times my copy is absolute tired as i said i was on jury service so and i spilled my bottle of water in my bag um yeah so not great i have turned over some of the pages dog ears i know i will get beaten up for that for example like this one i've just turned to page 168 it says most of us will never be the best at anything we do it isn't a reason not to do it love that this one says the thing is with a degenerative condition like mine if i look back at everything i could do before the things i used to love like sailing woodwork playing the guitar it can only depress me equally if i look ahead to tomorrow no doubt i'll only be able to do less than i can today the tremors and my eyesight may be worse my step less steady this is not something that gets better jerry says for calm smile so if i can't look back and i can't look forward i'm forced to live here right now today i can sit around a campfire and talk to my friends today i can watch the sunset even if the outline is getting hazy today i made a new friend and i'm enjoying her company and her vibrant conversation he makes a single slow nod in my direction the roman poet horace once said don't hope or fear but seize today you must and in tomorrow put complete mistrust all any of us have is today like i love that that's so kind of romantic uplifting obviously just like telling you to live in the present which is definitely something that i need to do more of i'm literally either like stressing about the future or like dwelling on the past um my phone's going off yeah so overall i gave this i think i gave this like a five out of five like just generally really enjoyed reading it like genuinely just a nice read you know so if you are looking for like a little romancy novel like a very chill read then definitely would recommend just haven't met you yet by sophie cousins is it out yet is it out yet that could be a problem it comes out in November. It comes out in November. Okay, so we're not there yet, but it comes out in November, so make sure you pre-order it. I also forgot to mention that I finished reading In Every Mirror She's Black. I think in my last roundup I'd started it, but I hadn't technically finished it, so I finished reading this in August. Like a five out of five, generally really, really enjoyed it. Um, so, so important. I said it's really similar to Three Women by Lisa Today, if you read that, because it's about three black women in this book. Um, although Three Women is based on like a true story and they're real women, this this is like a fictional story. It covers like work, relationships, tokenism, really, really enjoyed it this hasn't come out yet this comes out on the 28th of october 2021 by head of zeus and um, so make sure you pre-order that as well and that is it like this video is always going to be so short and i'm literally about to record my september roundup which i read a like i read a few more books in september but that's all i have to offer for this video i just wanted to keep up the consistency so even if like two people watch this that's fine by me yeah let me know if you've been reading a lot so let me know how you guys are and um, drop it all in the comment section down below and we can chat and yeah watch out because very soon literally straight off this video i'm going to be recording my September roundup.